It's me, it's D, it's the Mass Effect 3 loving flea. Oh yeah, N7 flea. That's right. Mass Effect 3 build video. Yeah, no, I've not done one of these for a while, but, 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 one of my lovely viewers messaged me on one of my previous builds and said, Flea, can you do me a video showing me a build for the N7 Paladin Sentinel Sentinel Paladin N7 Shield Guard? And I said, yes. Yes, I will. I will save you in your hour of need. Meow, 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 meow. So here we go. Here we go with a nice build. And I've not done these for ages, so you know what? Why not? It's just occurred to me, though, that my guy's only level 17, so I may have to use a little bit of trickery to, you know, highlight the nodes on the shit that I haven't done. Which is pretty unprofessional. But when you've just woken up in the morning, you've been drinking heavily, and you, yeah, and you, yeah, okay. Anyway, let's start off weapon. For the weapon, you want the Reed Carbine as high as you can get it. I've got it at 10 because I've been playing this game forever. But if you don't have it at 10, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Because you're going to be using this uh, to add to the fire in the ice. That is what the build is all about. Fire, ice, lightning. This is the lightning. Your powers are the fire in the ice. Yes. <laughs> First add-on. It's got to be the thermal clip. has to be. Because this thing eats bullets. Second add-on. you got choice. You can either use the Omniblade. And to get more power out of your beast of shield, or you can use the heavy velocity barrel. <coughs> Excuse me, which will help you with armor piercing. I personally go for the heavy velocity barrel because them armor piercing guys really piss me off. Really does, and it does a bit more damage with the weapon, which isn't really that damaging to be honest. It does do damage, but not as much as I like it to. So I go this. This is the two that I go for. Yeah, with this little bad boy right here. Yeah. So that's, that's that. I don't go in with the secondary because I want that power recharge speed of 55. And, uh, yeah. There isn't that many secondaries that really, you know, that really do it for me. This this does. This is the business right here. You only need the one. Okay, let's move on to the powers. And like I said, I'm going to have to add some graphical touches, if I remember. I probably won't because it's me. Now, most people go, oh, we need energy drain for this particular build. And I will do another build after this build. So don't worry. If you don't like this build, it's okay. This is the build that I used to get me through gold and the occasional platinum. But I've not done it for ages, hence him still being stuck on 16, because I prefer to play the Vanguard Krogan, the Geth Infiltrator, and sometimes the Soldier Male, because it's just funny to use his grenades. Yeah. Tumbleweed. Yeah. Okay. Incinerate. One os. Two os. Three os. Now for the fourth one, we are going to watch, watch, really? We're going to want radius, because we want to burn wider, we want to hit more. For the fifth power, we're going to want burning damage. Burning damage because we want them to burn longer, so burn farther, burn longer. And then for the last one, we're going to want the freeze combo. Because like I say, this is the firing ice, we're going to want to hit them first with da -da -da -da, snap freeze, which we're going to hit on one, two, three. And snap freeze is going to be the one that we set up all our shit with. Okay, we want more reach, because as everybody knows, Snap Freeze is reach. Doesn't seem to be that long. No. Uh, next we want power damage. Where is it? Power damage? Have I, have I written it down wrong? I have written it down wrong. I'm not. Cryo explosion, sorry. Power damage is the next one. <laughs> God, I'm on farm today. Cryo explosion, because we're going to be freezing and setting people on fire to blow them up. And yeah, we're going to be doing lots of tech combos with this. And then you can have damage and weakness. Or you can have tech combo. It depends which one you want to go for. I mean, there's there's merits to both of these. So you can use either of them. You know what? I'm going to leave that blank. So you pick which one of them you want. It's got to be one of these two. If you want to go damage and uh, shenanigans and weakness, you pick that one. It increases your damage by 40% and it weakens the, it weakens the armor targets by an additional 25%. Just remember to use it on them when they haven't got shields. Otherwise, it's... Pretty null and void, really. Or if you like the idea of freezing and firing and blowing and damn motherfuckers up, and you find yourself doing it all the time, then fire down. I personally go for the tech combo, but that's just me. N7 Paladin all the way up, so we want one os, two os, and three os. Four is damage and capacity. Five is power damage. See, eh? I knew it was there somewhere. 
and six is uh, weapon weight. Yes. Uh, reason for the weapon weight is to get that power damage, speed. No power. Re that's it. Power recharge speed up. Yes, because it was at fifty-five percent before. Once we get up, it was a little bit higher. As the reading carbine is pretty heavy. Uh, shield mastery. Unos dos tres. Four. We want durability. Which is that? You know what? I'm telling you. Fuck. Yeah. Never mind. Four is durability. So it's that one that we're gonna want. Circling, but I don't have enough power. I don't have enough points to highlight it, so I'm going to have to do it with something. I know, I'll put a circle around it. There you go, look at that, power brilliance. Next one, sh 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 shield durability. Increase the damage the Omni Shield we stands before collapsing. That's good to get your health back. Slap a shield, and remember you hold the heavy melee button to crack out your shield and hold it there. You guys obviously know that, but just in case you didn't, just in case you're new to the series, you picked it up super cheap and you're getting into it now. Hold that circle button to keep your shield out and uh, deflect everything, which is nice. And then cryo shield. And the reason we want cryo shield and not fire shield is because cryo shield is the one that we build our uh, our explosions off. So we build it with the cryo and we build it with the snap freeze. So if you want to tank something in the mush and then uh, that'll be frozen, you'll be able to go, yeah, I can sneak this bastard the crafty hit and punk. He's down the floor, gravy. So those are your uh, those are your three. You want uh, durability shield. Duration. Duration. Fuck no, I'm not on bomb at all. So down, up, down, down, up, down. And that is the that is the first build. Shit. Have I just done what I think I just did? I have, haven't I? You son bitch. Have I? Have I done it? Have I? Have I? Fuck. I have to reset powers. You sack of shit. Fuck. <laughs> why? Why God why? Equipment, yes, equipment. I almost forgot this shit. So gear bonuses. All right, I either use shield boost. Okay, so let's go down here and have a look. La 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 la. I either use shield boost to get the thirty percent extra shield. I use juggernaut shield, na, 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 which is the shield boost and the melee damage. Or I use the omni capacitors, which is tech damage and power recharge speed. It depends on you as a person. If you're getting hurt a lot, go for one of the shields. If you're not getting hurt a lot and you're doing a lot of damage, go for the Omni Capacitors. Personally, I go for Omni Capacitors. But you know, either or is a, either or is a good one. So, Stronghold Package, Juggernaut Shield, or Omni Capacitors for that. <coughs> for the consumables, I go for uh, where I armor upgrades, anything to do with your shields or powers. Anything. So, if you want Power Modulator, stick a fucking Power Amplifier on there and get your power damage. Or a shield. Again, if you're doing more fucking damage than you are taking damage, use the power amplifier. If you're taking more damage than you're doing damage, stick on the shield one. It's all good. You'll be, you know, you'll be helping people not going down and dying. Yes. <laughs> so it's all good. Weapon bonus, um, anything that levels up your shotgun. Yeah. Simple as that, really. Isn't it? If you uh, if you want to put on your shotgun rail lamp, give yourself a thirty percent shotgun boost, ammo boost, uh, ammo armor piercing, or even cryo rounds. Yeah, you know what? I'd go cryo rounds. Yeah, so cryo rounds, shotgun rail lamp, power amplifier module four, omni capacitor four, five. Yeah, right. I don't know why. I've got number five for that. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't go to five, that's why. Ha! What a muppet. How long has it been since I've played this? Yeah, but that's how I go. That's how I would go in personally. But if you're getting damaged loads, be feel uh, be feel free to shove in the shields instead. With, you know, those two. Just stack them up with shields. Shield recharge. You'll be fine. Right, anyway, next. Fuck, I haven't took the fucking thing off of that. God damn it. Okay, next build. This is more a power build than anything. If you don't have um, all the weapons or anything like that, but you've managed to get the little guy up to 20, then this will be a better build for you. Ha ha ha! Okay, we'll start straight off as usual with the weapons. You want to use anything that gives you as close to 200% power recharge speed as possible. 
anything. It doesn't really matter what. I personally go for the Piranha, level 10, because it's just a freaking tank. But there are loads of other ones that you can go for. I mean, the Disciple's good, because you can take out the shields. The, uh, the, 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 the Eviscerator is pretty cool, it gives you 171. And you can stick on uh, extended clips or anything like that. You could use, let's see what else, the Scimitar, use that, yeah, 179, Scimitar would be good, I guess. Uh, 145 for the Ray, not terrible. 112 for the Plasma Shotgun, mm, mm, not really. 154 for the Katana, nobody wants to use the Katana because it fucking sucks. Nobody likes it, the Crusader, pretty much out of the question, as is the Claymore, because those are ridiculously heavy. The uh, Carbine, not really. Venom Shotgun, ugh, I don't think I've actually used that thing ever anyway. Because it's boo! A load of boo! <clears throat> I suppose you could swap it for a. Um, well, yeah, you could go for the pistol if you're feeling pretty deadly. And um, you could go Paladin. Yeah, 137 with mods on, so it'd be even better. Or Carnifex. Carnifex with lightweight on is. Da -da -da -da, beastly. 195. So there you go. I'd go either Piranha. If you haven't got Piranha, go Carnifex. If you haven't got Carnifex, go Paladin. If you haven't got Paladin, Cycle through and see what you've got that will keep you as close to 200% recharge speed as possible. So yeah, I'd go that with that. No? Hey, where's my bullets? Oh, I forgot we took that off. Bummer. Okay, I'd go that with the heavy caliber barrel. So there you go. I'd go Carnifex, lightweight mods, heavy caliber barrel, get you more damage. Happy times. But like I say, this isn't a bill for weapons, this is a bill for his maneuveries. His maneuveries. And this one here, we are going to go. Energy drain. We're gonna go one us, two us, three us, and then four is gonna be ready us because we're gonna want the impact to be as wide as we can to hit as many as we can. We're gonna want drain because um, it's awesome. If you drain somebody's shield, you get all your shield back. Brilliant, super cool. And then for three, we are gonna want armor boost, <coughs> which keeps you a sort of immortal. If you keep draining barriers, you've got 40% extra boost reduction for 10 seconds, which is all good. Come on then, dog. Up you come. Come on, come on. There we go. Dog getting up on the bed. Getting comfortable. Spinning around in circles. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, anyway. Incinerate, we are going to want it to go uh, one, two, three. There we go. And then we're going to want radius. To get a longer radius of burnage. We want burning damage again because we want them to burn for as long as we can. And we're going to want the freeze combo. So you jump down again. But again, this is uh, an optional thing. And if you want it, you can, you know, bang it on armor damage. If you don't want that one. Two. Nap freeze. We're going to want unos, dos, tres. And then we're going to want reach. Because, like I say, reach without that is a bit pony. We're going to want cryo explosion because we're going to want things to blow up. And then we're going to want tech combo because we're going to want things to blow up a lot. So everything is down, 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 down. And that's your business there. Though. Those are your bread and butter maneuvers right there. All three of those. And then you're going to want shield mastery. Meh. <laughs> nah. uh, not really. I'll, uh, I'll explain why with that one in a moment. But Paladin, we're going to want um, one, two, three. La, la, la. Shit, I've run out of points again. Okay, so the third one would be good. Yeah. Fucking. So unprofessional. For the fourth one, we're going to want to go for damage and capacity. Which, right there, so we can get power damage and force bonuses by 10%, increased weight capacity bonus by 20%, which would mean that the item that you're carrying will be even lighter. So the uh, pistol goes to 200%. The piranha, from what I can remember, goes up to around 200%, if not 200%. It's certainly fucking close. And yes, so yeah, you can carry some other shit in there, which is pretty nice. Pretty sure the piranha goes all the way up. I think I just said that, not sure. Probably did, don't care. <laughs> but there we go. Yeah, rank 5, we want power damage. Again, because this is a power heavy build, that's how it's going to be. So, power, damage and capacity. So down, up. And then for number 6, we're going to want weight, weapon weight. <clears throat> so down, up, up. Those are the three that we're going to want. Okay, and that's to make your weapon lighter. And there you go. Shield Mastery is going to be on zero. Now, the reason why the Shield Mastery is going to be on zero is because I think 
to be honest, the shields and his health are a bit shit, even if you max them all out. And um, yeah, you're always going to want to be on the move regardless because Geth turrets, Geth bombers will ruin you. Totally ruin you. Because while you're sat there with this dude with his shield out, Geth Prime just wings a turret behind you and you're there and you've got your shield up going, yeah, you're not hurting me. While all the time you're getting shot in the ass from behind. So, screw that shit. You want this, this, this build on. Right her. Right her. Okay, uh, equipment. I'm not going to forget it this time. Equipment. You are going to watch. Da -dun 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 -dun. I use, for the gear, the engineering kit. Whatever it is. There she is. Engineering kit 5. The tech power damage plus 15. Which helps the damage go up again. Which is nice. Although there is the, the other one, if you want to go that. Mental Focuser helps as well. Because it, uh, it gives you 12% damage bonus. Granted, you don't get the 15, but if you haven't got that and you've got this, it's just as good. Plus 3%. Bugger all, that's like what, 2 hit, two hits? 2 hit points? Smart. It's not a lot. Not a lot at all! So it's always gravy. Or if you are suffering, and you're getting hit and shit, Jug Shield, or uh, Multi Capacitor. Anything that brings back your shield if you're struggling, feel free to go on that bugger. And yeah, it's all nice. Uh, ammo type that I like is disruptor, disruptor rounds. Let's get them shields now. Huh? Drill them shields down. Get them shields gone. Boo boo. Um, weapon power depends what you're using. Um, I've thrown a pistol on there, so I've got a pistol rail amp. If you're using assault rifle, you've got assault rifle. Same with the smig, same with the shoddy, same with the sniper. Although you'd be stupid if you use a sniper because. Let's face it, on a, on a build like this, you're going to want them to move a lot. Stationary sniping. <laughs> bit, uh, bit dodgy. So, yeah. But if you do, you do. You know, the Indra is pretty cool. The, uh, I can't remember the name of the, the snipers. Uh, javelin. No, actually. Not the Javelin. <laughs> no. The Indra in the, um, the one that fires loads. Can't remember the name of it. Bugger knows. Whatever it is, you know what I mean. And the armor bonus. Uh, Again, I'd go power amplifier, personally, because it's a power heavy build. But if you're having troubles, shield, uh, cyclonic modulator to get your shields up. Um, yeah, so it's, it's up to you. If you're having troubles, stick a shield on. If you're not having troubles, stick a power amplifier on. It's all gravy, baby. So there's a power heavy build. And the first one was um, was more mixture of the powers and the weapon. I hope this helped you. I'd show you uh, some game footage but can I find a game? Can I buggery? It must be uh, that it's just a silly time in the morning to be waking up and getting all the shit done. Or there's just nobody on. So there is no game, but I assure you, this is a wonderful build uh, for a character that I don't really use. But yeah, he, is, he has got his points, he, has, uh, he is cool. And you can always freeze people for other people to detonate. And you can always detonate people if other people have done them primed or whatever. You can fire in an incinerate in there and detonate somebody for a fire explosion and cryo explosion. And yeah, it's all good. So I do hope that that helped you. I do indeed. If it helped you, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, send me flowers and chocolates. Because I am that kind of girl. <laughs> and yeah, I will, uh, I will un no doubtedly. See you again at some point. Who knows when, who knows where. But we will meet again. And if anybody wants any more builds, if anyone's struggling with a specific character, can't figure out how to get a build going, or whatever, give me a shout. I will happily do you a build for any character. I'm not fussy. Or if you want a specific build for a specific guy, like if you want a, I don't know, a weapon only build on a biotic. I don't know why you'd want it, but if you wanted it, let me know, I'll sort you out. But yeah. Because you don't want, in fact, no, if you wanted a weapon build in the biotic, let me know so I can shout at you and call you crazy. <laughs> anyway, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.